Hello each and every one of you. This is an unusual story. I don't usually report on something small like this. But um, I was at the Department of Human Services today in East St. Louis. And the, in the incident, the stuff that happened there was enough for I'm going to report on it today. Because when I walked in there, and let me show you what I'm talking about to start with. This Department of Human Services in East St. Louis. I went there today. I stood there five hours waiting for uh, to see someone there. There was a whole bunch of people in there. And uh, I want to talk about that right now. Because the reason I'm reporting on this is because I got um, verbally assaulted in there. I got uh, harassed. I would call, I'd call it harassed, actually. Well, I call it verbally assaulted, harassed by African-American ladies. When I first walked into the place to come in there to sign up, uh, come in, four African-American ladies are laughing at me. That started my ticker up right there. Because I don't appreciate that because that's not how you treat people. I mean, each and every one of us are alike. Um, so, um, anyway, this goes on. I'm standing there. We're there four hours, five hours, actually. And um, so, um, during that five hours, uh, and I, I, with great pain in my heart, I report this. And this is the reason why I'm doing a story on this. African-American, the... Most of the African-American ladies are the ones that said stuff about me. Because I've got my... Even though I'm sick today and I'm tired and I don't feel good. And it's the worst day I ever had in 10 years. I could hear every single word of what they said. And I, I only wish I had videos of it. I should have... You know, I didn't think... I did not think I have to carry video cameras in... Into a place like that. But I, I learned my lesson. I will have to from now on. But anyway... Um... The reason I'm doing a story on this is because each and every one of us should be treated equally. Now, unfortunately, the African-American ladies are the ones that, you know, harassed me and talked about me and laughed at me and, you know, made a big joke out of it. You know what I mean? They made a big joke out of me and my life and who I am and what I am and all that stuff. And I don't appreciate that. That's what pissed me off up there at the, at the uh, Apartment of Human Services office. I mean, that is what pissed me off more than anything else. And I was real tired today, which I'm real lucky I was real tired today. Because I'd have did a bit, way bigger deal out of it. But I didn't. And I do not appreciate the attacks. I call them attacks. Verbal attacks. When they're talking about me. Laughing at me. That's an insult. That's an insult to who I am. That's an insult to what I am. That's an insult to what I am. Because you want to know something? I don't do that to people. I don't laugh at them. I don't do this. I don't do that. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't even understand that. That makes sense to me. I mean, by the time I did get called at about quarter to two, that had been five hours, you know what I mean, that I was there. And during that five hours, I had people that laughed and talked about me. And I, I'm sitting there and I'm, I hear what they say. I mean, it may not look like I'm hearing what they say, but I heard what they say. And not only that, the lady behind the desk, behind that window thing, whatever you call that, that, um, you know, counter, the lady behind the counter, uh, oh, that lady was something else. I mean, she told me that after I checked in, she told me, oh, it's going to be four hours. She acted weird and acted like she was, uh, I don't know. That was an African-American lady, too, by the way. She acted weird and was telling me all kinds of crazy stuff. I actually went up to her and say, are you for real? Is this is this crap real? Yeah, I said it that way too. Because I was already pissed off. Because you don't treat people like that. I mean, I'm tired of reporting crap like this. And like I said, this happened here. At this place. Department of Human Services say, um, on 9th Street in East St. Louis. And I only... I only wish I'd have had my hidden cameras with me because I really got some stories today. But I did not think I had to, to put the stories. I did not think I had to put them the, uh, uh, that equipment on in a place like this. But I learned my lesson. Um, anyway, the, the, the lady's telling me four hours and she's looking at me funny and she keeps, she keeps calling the same numbers over and over. 
71, 72, 73, 74. I think she did that despite me, you know what I mean? Because I don't think she's that crazy. Anyway, the thing, the reason I'm bringing you this story is because I fight out there for African American people and everybody to be equal. Everybody to be treated equal every place. And that includes African Americans, Mexicans, Russians, everybody. And the flack that I get back out of it, the African Americans are the ones that uh, treat me the, the lousiest. I mean, you laugh at me and this and st you know, talk about me. Because I'm sitting there listening. I, my ears are real good. I'm good even though I don't, they don't think I am. And the same went, happened at the Missouri History Museum at the Twilight Tuesday. It was the African Americans that attacked me and everything else down there at the History Museum. The reason I'm bringing this story out, story yet, or what do you want to call this, is because I'm out there fighting for these people, for all of this stuff. You know what I mean? Bringing you these stories, and I'm bringing you the peace, and the breath of life is a gift, and, you know, you should love one another. What I've seen in it that it wasn't love, what I've seen there is a bunch of African Americans like, acting like a bunch of 15-year-olds um, at a high school, you know what I mean? I, you know that uh, that's what you do in high school. You know what I mean when you're like you when, when you're a kid going to school and you don't know how to act. You know what I mean? So you you giggle and you sit there and you laugh at somebody and um, shame on the, the world. I mean that's what that's what they pick up the world. I'm tired of hearing this crap. That's what pissed me off. I'll tell you that right now. I I didn't appreciate the weight because I think that was on purpose, but. Um, I didn't appreciate that, that, that when I, well, the minute I walk in the door, I got four African Americans, African Americans laughing at me. And I heard them in back talking about me and this and that and all that stuff. All African Americans, you know what I mean? African Americans. They're the ones I fight for. They're the ones that I fight for the Mexicans and the Russians. And hey, maybe I need to change my train a little bit and, and exclude them or something. Because I'm tired of getting mistreated by them. Because that's what pissed me off up there today. Not to mention the five-hour wait, but um, then towards the last, they called me about a quarter to two, and uh, there was only one lady there that um, that I knew, or she said she knew me, I knew where she came from, but all the African-Americans are the ones I had problems with, and it ain't the first time either. I mean, yes, I did heighten it up a little bit, I did get a little excited, but hey, I'm there five hours, I'm, you know, what excited me the most is listening to these people in the back of me talking about me and listening to the, you know, um, when I walked in the African Americans, four of them laughing at me. That's not, that's not loving one another. Did you not learn anything from me? Love one another. Care about one another. The breath of life is a gift. I'm tired of bull crap like this. When are you people ever going to learn that each and every one of us, no matter who and what we are, are the same? We are all human beings. We are all created equal. You don't laugh at somebody because they got the wrong color or the, this or that or that reason. This is why I'm out there. Apparently my work is not done. So I'm tired of crap like this. I'm tired of being mistreated. And I saw this as a big enough story to run this. Because I think people need to know out there. You don't treat people like that. How do you think that feels? How would it feel if I sit there and I made fun of your hair or this or that? I won't never do that. You will never have to worry about me doing that. Because I don't appreciate it. It's not right. I don't see it as right. I see myself and each and every one of us are created equal. Learn it. That's what you need to do because I'm tired of crap like this. This stuff needs to stop. Anyway, that's my story. That's why the reason I'm reporting on this. I have I have no videos. Boy, if I'd have got some videos today, that would have really been something. I didn't think I needed to go in there with hidden with hidden cameras in there. I apparently I guess I do. Have a nice night. That's all I want to tell you.